I began last night to prepare a graduation speech, and two words came to mind, resilience and impact. And as I sat looking out at school leaders, future global leaders, I have no doubt leaders of countries, I paused and thought, this group of students, more than anybody, demonstrate resilience and impact. When I speak of pride, I hope you looked on the stage today, and I hope you saw Total Care team members smiling with genuine appreciation and admiration for youth leadership. Impact. So first, when I came to CAC, first thing I got in my email was probably an invitation to join a leadership team. And I got really interested in becoming part of our school's leadership teams. Um, so first, I was part of the online leadership team, then I moved up to student council, then I tried community service, and after that, I just continued doing community service because I, I found that it's something that I like the most. Um, I enjoyed the big activities a lot, especially those ones that we went outside of the school and we saw a real community and we had to help other people in different big events. Um, it was really fun and um, I had to um, be able to communicate with other people and help them, so it was really fun. Well, I feel like when you're running these activities, First thing you're gonna realize is that you're gonna get much better at communication with a large group of people or just a group of people in general. And that's gonna help in university, especially when you're taking a co-op course, because you need to be able to convey your ideas and also be open to other ideas. Every year, the Student Council is a highly sought after leadership position among CIC students. It's an organization mostly known for being the voice of the student body. So from this experience, I learned about a lot, especially uh, since I'm in Student Council. Um, I learned to think in different perspectives, uh, to look, uh, look at the same thing from different points basically so for example from like the, uh, the perspective of the school administrator or the perspective of uh, my schoolmates and especially since I'm the president I also have to think in the perspective of the student council members because I have to work with them really closely and I have to understand their working habits uh, what they find most easy to access and I set up different channels for them to work on. For example, for the announcement team, we have a collaborative YouTube uh, playlist so they can like find music easily or like we have different Google Docs and set uh, to make sure that everybody has access to different pieces of information. As a making decision for a, a student body, actually we kind of think that what will people think, what will people like and what could be done to make things better. And while we also think about ourselves, we also think about our friends and people we know. So as part of being student council, I learned that uh, while we're thinking for ourselves, we also think for other students that we see, we observe um, outside of the club. So if I go out of the school for the next step, I will also observe and be want to be want to be a person who will decide for the team. I did enjoy helping students, and what I enjoyed the most is that being four years in CIC, uh, many new students come to me and ask questions. But sometimes the questions are quite new about something new in Colombia. And before I had to get the information on my own, go into different stuffs. Being in um, Student Council, we had more access to different stuffs as well as information presented to us. So it was definitely easier to uh, help students. As well as being a member of the Student Council, students come more and ask different questions, which is also great for me. Um, what I enjoy the most 
uh, from this experience is uh, working with my team to plan and actually organize the event and seeing uh, the outcome of the event being really successful. Uh, for example, in intramurals, seeing um, how um, all the um, students are having fun while competing against each other and all the uh, spectators are cheering for their um, friends or even their team, it, it made me uh, feel really proud of my team. Um, I think like being a part of a leadership enabled me to develop a lot of skills like the thinking skills so we have to discuss and and think like the best plan that will be suitable for the school and also for the students and not just that like the creativity because like the plan is not always going well like, as we expected so we need like to be very very like creativity and flexibility like to change it like, according like, to the weather or to the school uh, schedule and stuff. Um, other than planning the actual activities, I think just spending time with new people, meeting new people in the team, and just like, our meetings were never like boring, they were always fun and lively and we always laugh about something. So I think that was really fun, like having another community in the school. Um, I was recognized for being part of High Achievers, in which I demonstrated great success in my academics. I was very uh, feeling accomplished, um, mainly because in the beginning of the year, uh, we tried a lot of different things. And of course, the pandemic was very hard on us, but um, towards the end, we were able to uh, make a lot of projects. I also ran on different clubs by myself, and it felt really just accomplished when I uh, went on stage to get recognized for it. Most important thing I learned in High Achievers is how to transition into university as a grade 12 student. It's not only about grades, it's also about um, how to build a better prof profile for university and um, how to be an all-rounded student. Um, I was recognized for being a part of the Residence Life Council group as part of residence leadership. It was great. Um, I wanted to be a Residence Life Council for a long time, ever since I heard about the previous uh, team called the Residence Life Prefect back in 2019. And when I heard about Residence Life Council being open, I was excited and I decided that I wanted to join because I was interested to see what I could do as part of the community. So like since I've been in the council, like resident life council, I can see my improvement in critical thinking ability, communication skill and self-confidence. Um, I truly like value all the lessons I've learned by being a part of this amazing team. You guys cannot know like how Im big impact that you can make to CIC. Just try your best to be like have fun to be new have to. Um, it felt quite good. I've always thought so. I remember Martin Luther King said, leadership is about having an influence on others. So when I came here, it's not even about the title or the recognition. I know what we've been doing behind the scenes and I'm most proud of that. Um, so future leaders, I would say, you have, you have so much potential that you don't know about. So you may look down on yourself, but just give it a try. I was sitting there and one of my peers told me something might be hard from afar, but once you start it, you're going to find out it's actually easy. So don't rush it. Just go into the opportunity and you eventually succeed. And CIC also helped me to incorporate ideas from a lot of people and teamwork and makes the dream work. So. as teachers, as educators, as principals, Mr. Knapp. One of the most rewarding experiences that we have 
is when we know we've made a small difference in the life of others. Every one of you have made a tremendous difference in the lives of students that have struggled for the past two and a half years. So we will celebrate your academic accolades. We will celebrate all of the events that you prepared. But intrinsically, I ask you to celebrate the difference that you made in this school, and as Ms. Andrea reminded me, globally.